Are you prepared to make a deal? Didn't think so. Now this is going to be different. It's smartphone season. You know, there's a lot of people in the comments. What is this, uh, smartphone therapy? Well, kind of, because this time of year is smartphone time of year. There are so many new smartphones that really deserve to have uh, some coverage. They deserve to be inspected. This is one of those smartphones. This is the hydrogen phone, the red media machine, a smartphone from a company that's never made a smartphone, a smartphone from a camera company. This is the aluminum version. I ordered the titanium version. That one's not ready yet, so they sent this one in its absence, and they're still gonna send the titanium version. Anyhow, who's complaining? you get an extra phone but this is so different this is so weird this phone this thing is like a weapon this is insane what? i mean it feels like one of their cameras i guess i should have suspected that it is metal it feels like a weapon it probably could be a weapon in fact it's got this crazy grip you are not dropping this thing accidentally it looks like one of those power switch fingerprint scanner combos over there of course this is their camera unit on the rear of the device you see these pins down here this device is eventually going to be modular kind of like red cameras i guess our camera company is going to have to become phone companies i don't know obviously red thinks so this thing has carbon fiber metal it's aggressive this thing feels even less like a phone and even more like a camera just the materials in use alone there is a headphone jack micro sd as i suggested before red branded usb type c cable they put some technology in here some kind of a holographic display from what i've heard it doesn't quite show up on camera wow what, what is this hydrogen oh oh the display is already the display is already doing it it's very bizarre jack probably won't be able to see it it just looks like a regular image to you yeah jack can't see it kind of 3d but not very far it's not like out here it's just like a little bit away from the display it's super hard to what do i even i mean i can't imagine carrying this thing imagine pulling that out you're on a date you're like yeah consider it done i'm on my way what did he say to you i'm on my way this device is definitely not concerned with screen to body ratio. It's super boxy, large bezels. It works pretty well. The fingerprint scanner works. It's not the latest Android, but it's Android. You know where everything is. They didn't mess with it too much, which is a good thing. I'm assuming this is gonna be 3D when I click this right now, which it is. Oh God. They just see an image right now, but I'm seeing this. Ugh. I'm having like a roller coaster in VR moments right now. That's just flat to you. But you can see how there's like a grid going on. Okay, I feel like my eyes are tuning into it now a bit more. You might have to be right in front of it. Will, can I get in here, Will? He's always begging me. He says, I got Lou, you gotta let me in the video. He's always screaming, enough's enough already. It's my turn. <laughs> it's my turn now. Uh, not at all, but... Enough's enough already! It's my turn now! <laughs> it's very loud. <laughs> Look, it's 3D, so hit play. I don't know. I can definitely see the 3D effect. I don't know if it's really useful mm -hmm, on a phone. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Kind of novelty, but mm -hmm. it's, it's kind of cool technology. I, I kind of dig it. I think it's kind of like um, the 3DS. Yeah, that's what and I it thought. Had, like the 3D effect. Yeah, that's that's um, the kind of vibe I was getting. Is 3D uh, the thing that people? What happened on TVs as well? The one place where people remain into it is in the movie theater. It's because it's so immersive, right? You got the big screen, you have the big yeah. sound. Are you doing that? No, I don't no. like that at all. Because I have to wear another pair of glasses. Double glasses. Which is the worst. Oh. Double glasses. Yeah, I'm not really down with that. I Are you know. doing that, Jack? You go into the movie theater, you put the glasses on, you have a seat, you're immersed. That's you. That's you. <laughs> TVs, no one's buying 3D TVs, obviously. It just never really took off. Yeah, it's definitely not a must have. The one reason I could see Red possibly being interested in it because they got that cinema background. Yeah. So maybe somehow we make those cameras. So therefore, if this becomes the future camera, then this is gonna have to be capable or encourage 3D as well. Maybe that's the angle. Yeah. Red 
cinema. Yeah, just because we could doesn't mean we should. <laughs> Hilly do. So, Hilly who, ladies uh, and gentlemen. It's who time. <laughs> this product is really a whole conversation about what's happening to cameras. This is a camera company recognizing what's happening and envisioning a future for themselves within that environment. I know they know that this device is not gonna replace their production stuff on a set anytime soon, but somebody over there is envisioning a future in which something far more portable may be capable of some of the production stuff they are doing right now. I mean, it's nice for them to experiment. It's really bold. Ambition is good. Ambition is. is good. You would expect that the camera would be a huge... Did you hear that sound effect? <laughs> Not good. <laughs> Thanks. Everything is very blurry. I mean, if you're carrying a beast like this, though, what does it need to be doing for you? There's no count. You're not counting individual hairs. There's, uh, it's blur. The hardware feels finished. I'll give them that. It's solid. I feel like this is a thing that's gonna have to grow over time. The modularity, the software, sort of buying into a bit of a beta. And that's fine. Like it doesn't seem clear. My thoughts exactly. <laughs> I mean, if you're gonna put out a phone like this, that's an absolute tank with giant bezels. It has to, like the speakers have, to, can't be like that. Are we talking about 3D in 2018? If I'm red, I'm like, let's chill on the 4D thing. Let's make a smartphone that's durable, rugged. Maybe you can add extra lenses to it. Get the best sensor you possibly can. And then just have great speakers and multimedia functionality. I don't think the idea of red having a smartphone is so outlandish. I'm just saying, if you're gonna do it, like, let's do it. Mm -hmm. Like, let's do it. Uh, How much is this? 1300. It's about the future. You're kind of investing in the future. You're banking a lot on this modular type of setup that's happy to invest in a company like Red for the eventual product that will improve upon this one. Here, take our money. We like the idea. We'll put up with some shortcomings in order to invest in the eventuality, in order to invest in the future. Is software gonna win the smartphone camera wars or is hardware? Of course, you're always gonna need the hardware. Are we gonna really be clicking lenses onto phones in the future? Or is software gonna make those choices for us? I don't know. That's a good question. What do you guys think? You tell us. There it is, red hydrogen one. I love seeing players in the smartphone game and I love seeing different things and I appreciate ambition always. So let's see what happens with red. Hopefully there's space for a wacky product like this one. Yeah, keep trying. Today's episode of Unbox Therapy has been brought to you by Sangled light bulbs, smart light bulbs for less money, a great value and they work with Alexa. Watch this, Alexa. Change the lamp to blue. Okay. Boom. Yes, they're also RGB, can do all kinds of colors, and there's some great kits right now on sale. Check the link in the description. Thanks again to Sangled.